Hey, good morning. I want to talk to you today about DNA. <laughs> no, not really. Well, not that DNA anyway. Cisco DNA, digital network architecture. Cisco DNA provides the policy, automation, and analytics required to adapt to change, simplify and scale operations, and protect against degradation and threats. You know, we believe there are at least five ways Cisco DNA can solve your network challenges. Number one, optimize the user experience. Number two, embed security everywhere. Three, centralize policy across multiple domains. Four, automate network management. And five, automate device provisioning. I've heard it said many things come and go, except time, which just goes. You know, Tom and I would like to focus on numbers four and five today that focuses on automation, focuses on ways that you can save time. You know, the old ways of managing devices Managing your network no longer work. Too much time, too much risk for error. What used to take days can now be done in minutes. Automate software image management for consistency, security, and better network performance. Deploy new capabilities and address PCERT alerts faster than ever before. Use pre and post checks to help prevent adverse effects from software management. Say goodbye to manual configuration and save time and money and headaches. Onboard new network devices in minutes without on-site support visits. Automate additions, changes, policy provisioning, and upgrades. You know, seeing is believing. So I'm going to turn this over to Tom for a demo of DNA automation. Tom. Thank you, Wayne. So as Wayne mentioned, automation leads to time savings. I'm going to demonstrate two items which I know take up a lot of time today in network operations, and these are P-certs and code upgrades. Why do P-certs take up a lot of time? Well, the first thing we have to do is we have to identify what P-certs are out there, and then we have to match them to the equipment and code that we have running the network to find out if we're even affected by these P-certs. So identifying the devices affected and the P-certs themselves take an immense amount of time. Then we have to make the judgment call of what's the severity um, and whether we implement a workaround or do a code upgrade for those PCERs. And then the next part is upgrading the code. Oftentimes in upgrading the code, the first thing we want to find out is what code is running on the devices and do we need to upgrade? Are we already running their golden image on it? Then if we do decide we need to upgrade, the upgrades themselves involve both pre and post checks via CLI commands on a per device basis which again can take an immense amount of time. So what I'd like to do today is jump in and show you those two items and how we've automated those items, which will greatly save you time. So if you guys don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here and give you guys a quick rundown from the DNA dashboard on how we go about doing that. So to jump right in, I'm gonna go click on the P-Search just so we can see what's affected. Now keep in mind that generally speaking with the P-Search, we have to find the P-Search on the web and then identify the device that's affected by it. Flip that around with the automation. Now we know what devices and what codes are running. We can automatically check against Cisco's database to find that information of the affected devices. I don't have to research that anymore. Here's a complete list of all the devices. Now, as I mentioned, Finding that information and reading more about it can be tough in itself, but we immediately give you a link here where we can go read more information, summarizing what the P-cert is, um, the affected product, if we had to verify it with the uh, command line interfaces, excuse me, with yep, command line interfaces, which we don't because DNAC's already told us we're affected by it. It also goes in if there's a workaround, if we decide there's no code upgrade to be done on it this time, or we prefer not to do the code upgrade for some reason. So again, that was quick. Here's something else though. We need to identify whether we need to react on this or not. So with the advisory ID, we can read through what the what exactly is going on, but it also gives us a quick score and the impact of the network so we can make that assessment of whether or not we should upgrade or implement a workaround or some other security measure. Well, let's suppose that we uh, are gonna move on to doing some upgrades. The first thing we wanna do is go in and see our image repository. So no longer do we have to run an image repository on our own, whether it's a TFTP server or an FTP server, it's all contained within the DNA C appliance here. I've got a number of different codes that are uploaded here and I've defined this is the golden image. All my devices should be running this image. I clearly see there's four devices that aren't. I can even look at those devices if I want to over here. So how are we gonna resolve and fix that? Well, to quickly do that, we're gonna click on update devices. 
Normally this process would take probably um, for four devices, 30 minutes to go through, do the post verifications, load the images up. Then somebody's going to come in during the maintenance window and actually do the reload on the devices and make do the post checks to make sure everything came back up that was supposed to come up. I'm going to show you how quickly we can do this and how we've automated it. I'm going to check the four devices. I'm going to come over here to update the image. I'm going to select all the devices. I could do a readiness report on these devices as well. Um, in this case, I'm going to select this and I've got to move my own picture out of the way. Here we go. Next. So I'm going to select the time that I want to distribute this and I want to go ahead and distribute the image now. Um, as we're sitting here, it's going to do a pre-check verifying that there's enough flash on the image to actually do this. Now, afterwards, I'm going to initiate the image. The five checks for that, they're going to be both pre and post checks. It's going to make sure spanning tree came back the way it was supposed to. All the CDP neighbors came back. The interfaces that were there prior are now back up, as well as the config reg to make sure we don't get stuck in ROM mod. It's going to do all these things and it's going to automate this. So I don't have to log into the four node to check that. I'm going to click next and then I'm going to hit submit. It is scheduled and those things are now going to distribute the image and it's going to update it at the time that I specified on it. And again, I'm going to get a report on it. I don't need to be there at one o'clock in the morning if that was the time I checked. Hopefully this quick demonstration has shown you the power of automation and the time savings that it can bring to you and your staff. Um, we'd love to schedule a follow-up call with it. Um, to give you a more in-depth demonstration of all the different automation features within DNAC. Well, with this, I'm going to pass it back over to Wayne, but thank you guys for your time. Thanks, Tom. What a great demo on how Cisco DNA can save that most precious resource, that being time. In closing, it will be our pleasure to speak with you in more detail regarding Cisco DNA. Our contact information is at the bottom of the screen. Thank you.